And we've got the very, very best assemble in here for a midweek, uh, very nice version of the rub. Uh, Bill's here, of course, always is, but Damo's been good enough to wander in, the newsbreaker extraordinaire, as has Gary, the lone wolf yes. line, oh. and this is very rarefied air. Well, I was worried about you after today's lunch, yeah. Now I believe you've spoken about it for the Triple M Rush yes. Out listeners that just joined. Oh, we yes. had a very big function at the VRC today, you warrior. What happened, Gaz? Because well, it's been the talk of town. I'm surprised you're not over it, being the number one newsman in this town, but it was oh, ice, an eyewitness ice, icy sort of stuff. Ice, when, ice baby. When Brian Taylor, our former man, the bristle cross paths with our main man, Jim, and a full coming together of like two big bulls in a paddock, mm. and there was a stare down. And it was, I'm talking, Bill. <laughs> yes, Jim. Serious uh, Gary. stare down. Oh, my, it was, and we're all together, yeah. sort of. I was laughing, <laughs> being a tool, you know. And on. Sam was trying to. Sam was being a tool. Awkwardness. Just before to, you went on the stage with yeah, the microphone. Backstage. So this is backstage. Backstage. And then Jim's, and then Brian said, "Jim, you and I need to be over here." Oh. And they separated mm. themselves. And after that, <laughs> oh. there was a, a bit of pointing and yeah, a bit what? of heated discussion. Was there any chess sort of this stuff? <laughs> no. <Nah>, well. <laughs> Actually, I had to, I got a bit worried about my little friend here because if oh, BT got friend. a hold of him, if Did BT you, got a hold of him, yeah, he would have. You, you showed that concern very forcibly. I tell you, I else, didn't even shuffle in your seat. I tell you, else saw this. Uh, he saw it on the weekend with Stephen Kernahan, oh, and he had this to uh, say this morning on the uh, hot breakfast. It's a bit, bit frosty up the front end of the plane coming back from Perth. I understand. I was as flat as a tack, but it did liven it up a little to see that the big bristle walked in absolutely, thumbing his nose at everyone in the plane and. And when the plane, before it even touched down, he was standing up there ready to charge out so he didn't have to speak the race or line and trawl. It was pretty funny. Uh, that is uh, hilarious. Good. Oh, well, Big Sticks was all over it, too. Yeah, Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, Chip loved it. He was all over it. Yeah, he did love it. Anyway, as I said towards the end, because i got to be uncomfortable, to be honest. Yeah, well, did, we did all did. Yeah. I don't mind a bit of tension, but I, I like <laughs> did, to have did it. You, Gary? I like to have it resolved, uh, Warrior, by the end of the day. I've heard it's actually worse than it was. I said that the two of the big heavy hitters, <laughs> whilst Spud and, um, and Chief and I tried to wrap up a very insightful uh, look mm. at the games, <laughs> I said, before we go, come on, there's 2,500 people in the room. You two need to just sort of out. And uh, Brian just gave scant um, <laughs> acknowledgement yeah. of, of our boy Jim. And then Jim said, gave it about three seconds thought and said, no, frick it. <laughs> no, frick him. Yeah, yeah. Frick him. No, mate. And they the w- walked off. And I am still had the microphone while he was saying, two and a half. oh, this is not right. It's no. not right. And they were all the heavy hitters. No. Oh. Anyway, it might be a bit well, of navel gazing, but I know our audience loved this sort of stuff. Mm. Haircut was do. there too, Gary. Yeah, and he rang me on the way back to work. He what did very, he say? He said, I'll, I'll bring you back later and give me the full story because I'll see him tonight. But um, he's very excited about what he was about to write. The commissioner? So, well, um, he was there Mike was there. Lewis Martin. The biggest hitters in the industry are in there. The trip. Lamb bosses were there. Oh, they would have been there if been it was there. the big hitters. Um, they were all there. Oh, we're just about to talk all Australian. These boys are actually heading off to the media awards tonight, Bill, so they're nice Why and you going? dressed. I never, ever attend. Why, don't Why you? Are you too big for that? Uh, no interest. Are you too big for the for the very industry that you work in? I couldn't think are you of too big to go like to and acknowledge the people who contribute? Oh. Please. How many people could you name in the media fraternity, Jay? None. <laughs> hey, who is the current uh, Brownlow of the media? Gary. Gary. So oh, Gary's going to hand. That's why he's going. Can you win it back to back? Oh, no. I think so. Oh, <laughs> now, look, let's talk about Brown. You, you might have been on track for back to back until you started offering no comments. Uh, yeah. Cost me. Yeah. Rain, yeah. Raining <laughs> Alf. Oh. Now, and of course, Dame Alf, former Alf. So mm. we've got Alf everywhere mm. in here, Bill. Now, mm. I need to talk about the All Australian the other night. Um, I must admit, I didn't have. Uh, any issue with the side, but a lot of people did. What about the function? Did you have any issue? Yeah, with no, that woeful, <laughs> horrific. No, so tell us, tell us the, what you're in. <laughs> I spoke to the two I see of the AFL today, and I said that that should be one of the great nights in football because I think there's Why no, is it no, good? no higher honour except for a premiership that a player can receive. So mm-hmm. it should be taken very seriously, and it was appalling. Didn't Why? get any food. Oh, no food, no <laughs> atmosphere, theatre seats. The thing was over in an hour. It was junk. Was it well hosted Lee? by what? Jason. No, Jason did a fine job, and I mean that he was absolutely fine. But it was just a, the whole thing was rubbish, and they've got to <laughs> scrap it and start again. Mrs B like it. No, she didn't go. Didn't go. <laughs> and boys have a listen to this so we finally found it our good mate sausage on the half back flank from the western bulldogs robert harvey at the center half back from collingwood sam reed now what was his excuse 
I don't think he had an excuse. He just couldn't believe it. Oh, I'm sticking up for him. He was under a lot of pressure. Oh, what sort of pressure? <laughs> It's calling out the half back line is not a... Didn't you have an envelope in front of him, <laughs> Gary? Wasn't he <laughs> reading off an envelope? <laughs> He'd just on, spoken to uh, Robert Harvey uh, yeah. before he went on stage. Really? Oh, I, yeah. hope he does. I hope he's not calling the names out for GWS. He yeah. oh. uh, goes with Damien Barrett instead of <laughs> Damien... Um, Someone who you can play. Firstly, I know, uh, and you're aware of this too, Damo, that our man, the Lone Wolf, is very much a television connoisseur to the point where he could actually be a writer. On the subject. A critic. Critic, no doubt about it. And two and a half men, more, uh, Ashton got wandered out last night for the first time, your thoughts? I'm more, I work more off-Broadway. I'm mm. a more of a, a Fox sort of, uh, in the National Geo yes. area. Yes. But I did um, turn my attention at two and a half men because uh, from a nine perspective, Jim, losing that, well, we lost half our programming when right. that went off air, but it's back. Man, don't worry, And I, I, I watch with a deal of trepidation about Ashton Kutcher. Uh, as the as the lead man, and I have to say, I was very very pleasantly surprised. Good. I thought there was some crisp stuff. I was very interested to see how they're going to deal with the the moving on of Charlie. Yep. Um, and in actual fact, the start of it uh, was at the funeral, oh. and some very special guests turned up. I know this is a, a very sad day for all of us. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Gave me herpes, <laughs> chlamydia, <laughs> vaginal warts. <laughs> He also loved being spanked. <laughs> While wearing my panties. <laughs> he used my panties to make tea. Charlie owes me $38,000 for some, let's say, pharmaceuticals. So oh. it was a bit macabre because they were sort of talking about the real Charlie, mm, but yes. po- talking him through his character. <laughs> yeah. uh, some cameos from Jenny McCarthy, uh, of course, yeah. of uh, very, I'm not sure what she's famous for other than Playboy, but mm. a very good operator there. <laughs> nice movie. Uh, Seen her there. Uh, uh, Jerry Ryan, I think she was off Survivor. Yeah, he owns I'm, a caravan. <laughs> she might also have appeared in Playboy. <laughs> yes. Um, and then uh, it sort of moved on. About uh, they had to rent his house because Charlie owns a house, and then they had Dharma and Greg came through as potential right. people who were going to buy oh. it, and that was pretty crisp, I thought. And there was one other that uh, escapes me at the moment. Well, while you're thinking, 2.293 million viewers Australia wide saw it, 27 million in the States. Huge in America. That is extraordinary. And of course, it followed up later with the Charlie Sheen roast, which yes. we can't talk about because it's a family friendly show. Oh, mate, <laughs> was a, did uh, Channel 9 have a good look at that before they put it well, there? I didn't because I went to bed, but I was oh, a bit tired. A bit happening on that, but, uh, I liked it. I, Ashton Kutcher, or Kutcher, I don't know mm-hmm. how you pronounce it, yep. is a good looking man. Spent half the time in the oh, yeah. nude. Mm-hmm. So walking around in the nude. But nothing so has changed because he he went upstairs with the with the girls and the yes. other bloke missed out but again. But he, he was sort of the antithesis of what Charlie used to be. Charlie was the hard drinking, you know, drug taking womanizer. This is this he's a nerd who oh. sold a company for one point three billion dollars. Really? And his uh, fiance dumps him, so he, want, he he comes into it having tried to drown himself. So is he going to work in that role then? If he's a yeah, nerd, yeah, yeah. yeah, he played it nicely, oh, real he sort of ironical. This is a really good review, guess. Uh, what uh, about uh, like uh, yeah, he's gone into it a a large, the way the TV writers do? Large dose of irony and about the way he deals with Ashton. You've teased a bit too. Yes. I'm a little worried about the kid, the little kitty, fatty, was the, that? little Boomba who was Boomba. funny when he was small, <laughs> yeah. but he's sort of growing up. He's a bit uh, like your Harry Potter now. Yeah. As an adult, he, he was doing. He was still doing fart jokes, which oh, no. did, the one or two came off nicely. <laughs> and then the mum, then the grandma says, "Don't think you're getting away with those silent ones," which I thought was funny. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. What about your other favourite show? Yeah, Australia's top. top model. Yeah. I watched that yesterday. They have to tape it because on a Monday, mm. and um, oh. yeah, it's getting down to the real yeah, business end gritty. there, isn't it? I took the gear off the other night too. Yeah, I wasn't that comfortable with that because oh, <laughs> one of those girls is a friend of my niece's. But um, <laughs> I'll tell you what, it didn't sit that well with me, to be honest. <laughs>